I made a video a while ago on how to build a habit tracker in Notion, but many of you asked if there was a way to select a specific goal for each habit. Now, there might be some habits that you only want to complete three times a week or five times a week, but most Notion habit trackers don't allow for this. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to build a Notion habit tracker with the option to select different goals and see your progress. So here is the habit tracker that I've set up. So as you can see here in the first column, we actually have the name of the habit that you want to complete. And in the second column, you can actually select the goal for that habit. So if you click on here, this is a select property. So you can choose how often you want to complete the habit. So for this one, I've just inputted seven days a week. And then we actually have the habit tracker itself. So you just check off the checkbox for the days that you actually complete the habit. And then this progress bar over here will update as you check off the checkboxes. So for this habit, it says I want to complete it seven times a week. So I've checked off all seven checkboxes and it's gone to 100 percent whereas for this one down here it says I only want to do it two times a week so I've checked off two check boxes and the progress bar here has gone to 100% so the progress bar is actually related to the goal which is pretty handy and I've also got this reset week button here so if I click that it will reset and uncheck all of the check boxes for the new week so it's a really really handy system so that is the habit tracker so now I'm going to be showing you step by step how to build this for yourself so I've just set up a brand new page I'm just titling this one habit tracker with goal options and I've just added an emoji and a cover photo but that's it the first thing we're going to do is add a brand new database so i'm just going to type in forward slash database and select the database inline option now you can call this whatever you want i'm just going to call it habit tracker and we're also just going to hide the title so i'm just going to click on the three dots here and hide the database title and we're also just going to delete this tags property because we don't need it for this build so i'm just going to hit delete okay so in this first column we're going to start by adding the names of the habits that you want to complete so i'm just going to add a few in here as an example let's go with duolingo walk and so on okay so these are the ones that i've added i'm just going to make this column a little bit smaller as well so it doesn't take up so much room now the next thing we're going to do is add a select property for our goal so i'm going to click on this plus symbol here and we're going to type in select and i'm going to go with this select property and at this one we're going to rename as a goal and if you just scroll down here you'll see this add an option button so if i click on there it's going to allow me to add my first option so the first one is going to be seven times a week so i'm going to do seven x per week so that's our first option if you just hit enter it will then add that as an option so you need to add an option for each of the different goals so the next one would be six times per week so i'm just going to type it like this and hit enter and so on so i'm just going to do that for each option all the way down to one time per week okay so i've added all the options so this is now what it looks like and if you want to go a little bit extra with the aesthetics you can actually change the colors of these so you can either make them all the same color or you can pick your own so i've just updated the colors here so that it looks a little bit better so now we can actually select our goal for each of our habits so for duolingo i'm going to put that one as seven times a week else my owl will not be happy with me for walk let's just put that one as four times a week and so on so just choose a goal for each of your habits now we actually want to build the habit tracker section so we're going to start by adding a checkbox for each of the different days of the week so to do that i'm going to click on the plus symbol here i'm going to type in checkbox and we're going to select this option and the first checkbox is going to be for monday so i'm just going to write mon for monday and hit enter okay so that's all we need to do with the checkbox just make it a bit smaller so it doesn't take up so much room and then we need one for each day of the week so i'm going to click on this one and I'm going to select duplicate property so that's just going to add an exact copy if you then click on here you can actually just change the name so I'll just change this one to two for Tuesday and so on so I'm just going to do that all the way up until Sunday so I'm just going to duplicate the property click on it and change the name okay so I've just completed that so this is now what it looks like so essentially how this is going to work is every time that you complete the habit that week you can just check it off on here so at the end of Monday I can come on here and check the ones that I did and on Tuesday I can do the same and so on so just before we jump back into the tutorial I just want to mention that my new second brain template is now available on my store it's a super advanced all-in-one productivity system I'll leave a link in the description box below if you're interested so that's all back to the tutorial so next we're going to be adding our progress bar now the progress bar is actually a formula problem. Property. So we're going to start by clicking on this plus symbol here and typing in formula and selecting this option. So this one I'm just going to rename as progress. And then we're just going to click on this formula edit button here to bring up the panel so we can actually write in our formula. So as I mentioned earlier, this formula needs to take into account the different goal options that we have. So what we're going to do is start with a basic formula and then I'm going to show you how we can actually add in the goal property that we have over here. So the first thing we need to be able to do is work out the percentage of checkboxes that have been checked. So to do that, we're just going to convert each of these checkboxes here into a number. So if the checkbox is checked, it will be converted into the number one, whereas if it's unchecked, it will be converted into the number 
zero. So therefore we can just add up the numbers and that will tell us how many of the checkboxes have been checked. So to do that, we're gonna use the two number function. So I'm just gonna type in two number like this and you'll see it appear here in the sidebar. So I'm just gonna select it and inside we're gonna place our first checkbox, which is the Monday checkbox. So I'm just gonna click on here and it's gonna add our Monday checkbox into the formula. We then need to add all of the other checkboxes onto here. So I'm simply just gonna do the plus symbol again, type in two number, select it here. And inside this one, we're gonna put the Tuesday checkbox. Okay, so we're gonna do this for all of the different checkboxes. So again, two number, select it here. And this one is gonna be Wednesday. So you just want to do that all the way up until Sunday. Okay, so this is now what it looks like. So I'm actually just gonna click done just so I can show you what we currently have. So as you can see here in our progress column here, it's now counting how many checkboxes have been checked. So on this one, there are two checkboxes checked. So it says two. On this one, there are three checked. So it says three. But I actually want to see this as a percentage rather than just a number. So there are two out of seven checkboxes checked here. So I wanna see the percentage rather than just the number two. So let's click on here again and edit the property. And again, formula edit. So here is the formula. So firstly, I'm gonna isolate what we have. So I don't wanna mess with this formula also I'm simply just going to add a parentheses at the end and one at the start to isolate it and then what we're going to do is divide it by the number of checkboxes that there are so there are seven checkboxes here one for each day of the week so I'm simply going to divide it by seven and this is going to allow us to turn this into a percentage so I'm going to click done again and then we just need to click here on number format and change it to a percent so if we have a look now at our progress it is now showing a percentage but it's a really really long number so we do want to round that down a little bit so again let's click on formula edit and I'm simply just going to type around at the start, open parentheses. We need to multiply this all by 100. So I'm just going to type 100 like this and then the multiply symbol, which is just this little star here. And finally, we need to close the parentheses because we just opened one here. And we do also just need to divide it once again by 100 like this. OK, if we just hit done, as you can see, we've now got a nice looking percentage without all of the decimal points. OK, so that is the basic formula complete. So let me just make that a bit smaller. So now if I check off all of these checkboxes on this row, as you can see, our progress goes to 100%. But the only problem is this one here is four times a week, but I need to check all of the seven checkboxes to get to 100%. But for this one, I should only need to check off four of the checkboxes. But when I've done that, it's only saying 57%. So we need to add in a slightly different formula for each of the different options. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to click on the progress here, edit property, formula edit. So this formula only works for anything that is labeled as seven times per week. So what we're going to do is use an if statement to say if the goal is seven times per week, then we want this formula to be run. So what I'm going to do right at the start, we're just going to type in if open parentheses like this, and then we need to add in our goal property. So if you look here under the properties in the sidebar, you'll see the goal. So I'm going to add that in. So we're going to say if the goal equals equals, we're going to add two quotation marks like this. And inside I'm going to add the exact same option that we have in here. So in here I've written seven X per week. So you need to make sure that this is written exactly the same as whatever the option within the goal is. So if you just wrote seven rather than seven times per week, just put seven. So just whatever matches. So I'm going to put this and then a comma. And I'm also just going to isolate the rest of the formula here so we don't mess with it all. So I'm just going to add one parentheses at the start and then one at the end. And finally, just another comma like this. So essentially what we've said is if the goal is set to seven times per week, then run this formula. And we can also add in otherwise. So I'm just going to do that for now. This is not going to be part of the final formula, but I just want to show you how it works. So we can just say otherwise do this. So I'm just going to type in zero to say otherwise if it's not seven times per week, then just input zero for now. And I'm just going to close the parentheses. So if we just hit done for a second, I just want to show you what that's done. So in our progress column here, as you can see, there's only one of these that is labeled as seven times per week. It's this one. And that one is working correctly. If I uncheck the checkboxes, it is changing the progress. Whereas the ones that aren't labeled as seven times a week is just displaying zero, which is what I told it to do. So that's working correctly. So let me just edit the property once again. So I'm just going to remove the zero in the parentheses here because that's not something that we need. And now we're going to add in a slightly different formula for each of the different options. So firstly, just to keep this clean, what I'm going to do is hold down shift on my keyboard and hit enter. So we go to the next line. So it just makes it easier to see all of the different formulas. We're then going to add in another if statement. So I'm going to type in if open parentheses, we're going to add in our goal. Once again, I'm going to type equals equals two quotation marks. And inside here, we're going to write our next option, which is six times a week. So I'm going to do six X per week. Again, make sure it matches the exact text 
text that you use inside the actual option in the select property for the goal. We're going to add a comma and what we're going to do is copy this formula here. So what I'm going to do is copy it right from the comma here all the way to round. So this part of the formula. So I'm going to just going to copy that with my keyboard and then we're going to place our cursor back here and I'm just going to paste it in. Okay, so that is the exact same formula, but the only thing we're going to change is this number here that says seven. So I'm just going to remove that and change it to six because this one is for the six times per week. So I actually only need six of the checkboxes to be checked for it to go to 100%. So that's why I'm changing this number to six. We're then going to do the exact same thing for the next option. So I'm just going to hit shift enter and again type in if open parentheses goal equals equals two quotation marks and this one is going to be five times per week a comma and again we're going to paste in that entire formula we're just going to change the seven here to five for this option again exact same thing shift and enter if open parentheses goal equals equals two quotation marks this one is 4x per week Again, a comma. We're going to paste in the entire formula, but this time it's going to be a four. Okay, so I'm just going to do the rest for you. So I'm going to go all the way down to one X per week using the exact same system. So just remember to change this number each time. Okay, so this is what the formula should now look like with all of the different options. So the final thing that we need to do is tell it what we want it to do otherwise. So if none of these options have been selected, so essentially just if there is no goal set, then what do we want it to do? So in this case, I'm just going to put the number zero. So it'll just display zero if no goal has been set and finally we just need to close off all of the parentheses so there is actually an open parentheses for each of the different if statements so there are seven of them so I just need to add seven closed parentheses right at the end okay and that is it I'm just going to hit done and the final thing that I just want to do is actually set this to a progress bar so if you just look under the show as you can set it as either a bar or if you prefer you can also set it as a progress ring but I'm just going to keep a bar in this case Let's just make it a little bit longer. So this is now what it looks like. So as you can see, this one here is set to seven times a week. So I need to check off all seven of the checkboxes for it to go to 100%. For this one, it's four times a week. So I've checked off four checkboxes and the progress bar has gone to 100%. So it's working correctly. And this one at the bottom is two times a week. So I only need to check off two checkboxes for it to go to 100%. So as you can see, it is working correctly. So I'm just going to change the name of this tab here to habits instead of table. So I'm going to click on here, select rename and let's call this one habits and you can also select an icon here as well let's just change it to a check mark like this we can also set a default icon for each of the habits which I usually quite like the look of so what we're going to do is click on this down arrow here add a new template and you can actually just select an icon so I'm not going to change anything else but the icons I'm just going to click on here select icons and again let's do a check mark like this one so you don't need to add anything else we're just going to hit back so now again just click on the down arrow here is that template that we've just set up with the icon so I'm going to click on the three dots and just set that one as default and I'm just going to select for all views so now anytime you add a new habit into the system it will automatically add that check mark so let's just add one as an example and when I hit enter as you can see that check mark is added by default now for the ones that you've already added you do need to add it manually so if you just open up the page for each one it will allow you to just select the template here so that's just a quick way to add the check marks for the ones you've already added Added. And the final thing that I want to show you how to do is how to set up that reset week button that I showed you at the start so that at the end of the week, once you've checked off all of your checkboxes, you can simply select a button and it will reset the whole thing and uncheck all of the checkboxes. Because as you can imagine, if you had to uncheck all of these manually, it would take quite a while. So what I'm going to do just above the habit tracker, we're going to type in forward slash button and select this button option here. Now you can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it reset week. And I'm just going to select an icon as well. I'm just going to select this circular arrow like this. So it looks like that. Then we're going to add our first step and we actually want to edit pages in. So we want to edit the pages within this database down here. So that's the option we're going to select. And firstly, it's going to ask you which database you want to edit pages in. So obviously we want to just select this database here. So I'm going to click on here and you just want to select the habit tracker database, which is this one. Now, the first thing you need to ensure is that this says all pages within the habit tracker. So it's going to amend every single habit within the system. And you then want to click on edit a property and we're going to select our first property, which is the Monday checkbox. And it's going to ask me what I want to do to that checkbox. So I want to set it to unchecked. We're then going to edit another property. And the next one is going to be Tuesday. And again, I want to set that to unchecked and so on. So you just want to keep adding all of the different checkboxes, Wednesday, unchecked and so on, all the way through to Sunday. Okay, so this is now what it will look like. So once you've added that in, you can simply just hit done and let's try out the button for the first time. So I'm just going to click reset week and it should should uncheck all of the checkboxes like this as you can see so you can just keep doing that every single time so I can just check them off throughout the week and then hit reset week 
and it will uncheck them all for me. And that's it. You can check out all of my pre-made Notion templates over on my store, including this super advanced second brain system. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And if you did find this video useful, then I'd really appreciate if you could give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as I upload new Notion tutorials like this one every week.